We get a lot of questions about the bags for the school kits. The style is a drawstring backpack, so when you cinch it together, it can become a backpack that can be worn by the child who's using the bag. You can make these bags easily. There's a pattern on our website, um, but if sewing bags isn't for you, you can also buy bags in this style. And we have a list on our website also that you can print off and use to buy these bags in bulk in a variety of quantities. Um, and that website is lwr.org backslash school kits. Um, one other question that we get sometimes is on the boxes of crayons, every now and then there's a tiny, 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 tiny little um, American flag back here. And we are careful about having patriotic symbols on our kits and quilts for safety of the folks who receive them. So it's not really necessary to blacken this out. This is not significant. This just shows where the item was made. Where you'd want to be careful is if you make bags or buy bags, finding fabric that's very clearly patriotic in nature, that's where you'd want to be careful. But it's not necessary for you to take time to blacken out those little tiny American flags on the crayon box. There's one nice thing you can do to pack these kits that will keep them secure and keep things from getting broken. Um, what I like to do is stack the spirals opposite one another so that um, they don't get caught together. And then I put the ruler in between like this so that it won't get broken in transit. So put that in the bag first. Snug it all the way down to the bottom. And then the rest of the items can go down in the bottom of the bag also. And then when you tighten the bag up, it's neatly packed. You don't need to put a rubber band around this to keep it together. Now here's a tip for when you're packing the boxes to make sure they're efficient and that nothing gets broken. If you take a standard banker's or paper size box, I put the kit in sideways so that the notebooks, the top of the bag's here and the bottom's here. When you put the second kit in, flip it over so that you're putting the bottom of the bag at the opposite side. And that means that the crayons and the pencils won't be smashing together, but they'll be opposite one another in the box. It allows you to get more in the box and protects the items in the kit. Some simple tricks for school kits.